the musical stylings of organist Bobby Freeman. Rain on top of Gilly, CloseCallSports.com. You asked for it. You got it, Toyota. We're looking at the Shohei Otani balk calls in Arizona. The third time it is the bottom of the fifth inning, now. two outs, runners on first and second in Arizona. The Angels are winning, and Shohei... I'm sorry about this. I got the rule book right in front of me. It's 6-0-2-A-1. If there is a runner or runners, it is a balk when the pitcher, while touching the plate, makes any motion naturally associated with the pitch and fails to make such delivery. Also called a start-stop box in some circles. This is what it's going to be called. I'm going to play it again in slow motion. Good luck. Yes, two, three, time. What I don't like about the Bach rule is that, yeah, that is actually a Bach. Now, do I think that realistically it should be a Bach overall? Perhaps not. But under the rule set that Major League Baseball uses, that's actually a Bach, believe it or not. We're going to try to show it again, and it's so subtle. What you're looking for here is extremely subtle. Look at Otani's body, and it's going to have a little left-right movement without him committing to throw to second until a split second after he does it. And by rule, that can be called a balk, a 6-0-2-A-1 balk. Again, the rule's a little weird. As an illustration, did anyone ever play Madden video games in like the 90s? I'm going on a diatribe, but I'm... Listen, it's going to go somewhere. When there was a holding penalty in that game, John Madden's, one of his pre-recorded lines when he still did lines for the game was, they could call holding on every play. I need Frank Caliendo to do that voice for me because I'm not good enough. But the point is that Madden's line, they could call holding on every play, is kind of like a box. I mean, you could really get drilled down to it and say, you know, the pitcher balked on that move. They balked on that move. They balked on that move. They balk, balk, balk their way into producing a gross of eggs. Oops. Look, I'm exaggerating. No one is going to balk 144 times a game as Greg Gibson, the home plate umpire, comes on scene. Insert meme here. But the point is, more balks could be called and be technically correct. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. Sometimes a balk absolutely needs to be called. In this situation, Otani technically does come toward home plate before going back to second base. Technically, it does happen. This is a correct call. AAA umpire calls it. The supervisor is going to come on and be like, yeah, you're technically correct. The question is philosophically, game management, pace of play, whatever. I'm not sure if this is the expected call, but look at Otani. Look at his upper body. Torso is going to move to the left. It's going to, it's going to spin on its axis very minor to the left, and then it's going to go back around to the right. So that's coming home and then going to second. Technically correct, but do we really need to make that call? I'm doing some translating and mind reading. I hope I'm right. Like on this replay, look at his left shirt sleeve with the patch with the A on it. It moves to the left, rotating on the axis imperceptibly, and then he comes around and it goes back to the right. That's what the balk is based on. Technically correct, but if you don't have an electron microscope that says umpire on it, does it need to be called? Again, philosophy is weird, and I'm not smart enough to tell you what the correct answer is. All I know is this is technically a correct balk, but if this happened in my game, I would absolutely not be able to call it because I just can't see that well. Step off, I got confirmation. First career balk. Congratulations! Welcome to the club. A slight buckle to it before he came set. Several pitches later. The one two. Rick pitched him. That was a splitter. That was I a think hand. he called a they balk called another balk. I mean, this is. So you you said he quick pitched him. That means they called a balk because they're saying he didn't come set and didn't pause long enough. Let's see. We'll see if he came to a complete stop. How is that not a complete wow. stop? I, I don't understand with that call right there. That's two of them. If you want a face for MLB, there it is, as, as it relates to MLB's rules. This is actually an easier call than the first one because that replay was in slow motion. If we want to watch it in real time, we can actually see where the balk is. You have to come to a stop. As you can see, Otani is rocking back and forth without coming to that stop. That's why that balk is called. Or if the coming to set position stop is not enough for you, remember the original call on the play by the broadcaster himself. The one, two. Quick pitched him. That was a... Yeah, a quick pitch is a balk, Gooby. They another balk? I mean, this is... 
You know how they say all they want you to do as an umpire is be consistent? Well, let's go to the top of the 10th. Angels have a runner at second. Tie ball game. And this happens. Tied at five. That was a balk there. Everyone was calling balk on that one. He moved his shoulders. Yes, he did balk on that one. They called it. On the replay, we're back to a start-stop balk. You see how the pitcher started, then stopped, then started again? Yeah, there's the shoulders moving. He knew it. So the Angels' base runner goes to third on the balk, then scores on the RBI ground out to put the Angels ahead 6-5. to five. And the Angels leading 6-5. to five. The 2-2. Two -two. Looked like he got him. That'll do it. The Angels. This wasn't pretty at any point. They won ugly, but they'll take it in the end. Sometimes when you're an umpire, all the tough calls, all the close calls find you. And that's what happened for third base umpire Dan Roselle in this game. Started, at least on this video, with the Otani balk call and the last call of the game, the check swing, also comes from third base. Sometimes that happens. But speaking to that manner of consistency, if it's a balk on Otani in the fifth inning, it better be a balk in the top of the tenth against the other team. Even if it's a tie game, all that game situation should not matter. A balk is a balk is a balk. That's what happens here. It doesn't matter if it's a small balk or a big balk. All balks have the same call, all have the same penalty. And in this case, it works out for Anaheim. Not Los Angeles, Anaheim. We now join America's most popular show already in progress. Everybody loves Hypnotoad.